Welcome to a brief talk for Sunday 22nd of March. Last Sunday in Alden, Keith Rush spoke about our identity. What is it about us that gives meaning to our lives? Keith's an architect. Is it perhaps our work, what we do? That's often the first question we ask when we meet someone. Or it might be our gender, or our upbringing, our education, our clothes, our politics, our family. For Christians, Keith said, it should really be Christ who comes first. All the other things are secondary. And in Mark's day, Helen Suarez encouraged us, as we pray, to bless others and to speak God's blessing over our community. In the present crisis, many people are asking these big questions. What's really important in my life? What are my priorities? This kind of re-evaluation is actually very seasonal. It's the traditional Christian practice in Lent. And many who would not call themselves religious at all are nevertheless turning to prayer at this time and asking for help. One of the Bible readings for today is 1 Samuel 16, where the prophet Samuel chooses one of the sons of Jesse to be the next king of Israel. He likes the look of the tall ones, but God says, no, I've rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things man looks at. Man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. And so God chooses the little guy, the youngest, David, because his heart is good. Today is Mothering Sunday, when many return to their mothers, their family home and their home church. This weekend we've been distributing flowers to mums as a gift and reminding them that the Christian church is here to help and support them. The archbishops have also called for today, Sunday 22nd, to be a national day of prayer. And at 7 p.m. we shall all be lighting candles and placing them in a window. It's a symbol of prayer for hope in this international time of crisis. Please join us. And if you'd like to try praying, we'd like to give you a lovely little free booklet with seven days of simple hints and tips. Just ring me on 01206 215772 and I'll pop one through your door, untouched by human hand. Now, can I encourage you to join me for a simple prayer? Lord, in this time of crisis, give us good hearts, like David, to love you and to care for our neighbours. Help us to be people of hope as we light our candles and pray today. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen.